Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the battle for Astrakhazi. So with a lot of back and forth fighting going between us and the Red Reapers, we've decided to take the initiative. The Red Reapers have created a forward operations base and we've decided to push the Dragon's Rejects up and crush that base. Alright, so here we are, we're approaching. We've been fired upon by mortars already. My guess is there's turrets up here. There's a cargo truck. We're expecting light resistance. We don't think they've had enough time to really get this base up and running. So we're really just going to push forward and hopefully smash these guys really, really fast. Let's get around this way. Now I made a few changes to the mechs. Uh, not much. We've got the bushwhacker back and running. So we've got good range on this buildings here. What do we have on this cargo truck? 0.9. Well, we got to destroy these buildings anyway, so let's just take a shot at it. Alright, I guess that was a miss. Negative damage. Repeat. I see that. Negative damage. So, um, the bushwhacker is the big, yes, uh, the big thing. There's a, I think I made a couple of minor tweaks here or there on some of the mechs, but the bushwhacker really is the one that's um, hey, let's see what this baby can do. the big change. I decided to get that back into battle, but I didn't have a lot to do that with. So what I decided to do, once we get open up on this guy, let's just go... I'm gonna go one shot for now. I don't want the thing to jam early, so let's just fire a couple times. Um, all right, all right, I missed. Okay. I'm guessing the damage is being done. It's just not registering because we haven't gotten close enough to it yet. I, I don't know. All right, so we got Tiger Tail here in the Rifleman. She's been moved out from the Hetzer into a Rifleman, so. Mm, we want to go this way. I think I want to try and stick together, so let's just move up along this way. Affirmative. So yeah, the Bushwhacker's got a, a it's a different, a much different loadout than it had in the past because we lost the uh, the Mirdrin AC-10, which had really great chances to hit. So I did, decided to turn it into a yeah. close range brawler. I didn't have really much else I could do with it. Um, let's move you. Let's just go here. It's fine for now. So I turned it into a close range brawler. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and end the turn. So it's got an AC-20 now in the arm. As you can see it's retained its uh, AMS. And in the other arm we've got an MRM-10. So that's our loadout. It, that's, and we, uh, we've also still got the uh, the two ER mediums and the CT here. So we've got the... Uh, we got Acid and um, Incendiary, half ton of each, for the MRM-10. And then for the AC-20 we got Precision, Standard, and Incendiary ammo. So we don't have a lot of Precision, we're going to use it in the clutch situations. Standard ammo is what we're going to stay with for now, and of course if we're fighting vehicles or whatever, or if we need to overheat somebody, we can switch to Incendiary. We're going to stay with Standard for now, uh, and we're going to leave the Acid on. We're just going to move up. We can't do a lot till we get closer anyway, so... But yeah, I'm interested to see. We haven't used an AC-20 in quite some time, and we do have now mechs on the board here. Talos, and a Vulture Mark II. Now, we, I think we've got Vulture Mark II parts. Is it Mark II or the regular Vultures? I don't know. Um, this is a three and a half Skull Destroy base mission, so I'm interested to see how this plays out. I don't know if they're going to get reinforcements. So it looks like they've got three Lances here. Yeah. They could have up to 12 mechs to start. Um, let's get you along this way. I know you're not staying with the group, but I want to see if you can get sensors on anybody. Um, no. We, we're going to really need to get close, I think. Okay, there's a vehicle. What can I do for you? Well, buddy, um, I'm almost tempted just to put you back here, but I'm thinking that we need to move you up a little bit as well. Because if push comes to shove and we need you up ahead, then uh, we're going to have to go ahead and move you up. So let's go ahead and... We target. We're at indirect. Um, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. Let's not waste. Let's not waste a round unless we have to. We've only got 20 shots, so that's. I mean, I don't want to waste that. Commander. This battle could go longer than 25. 
So I moved flatline up into the Hetzer with the LRMs. And we pulled the uh, light LRM carrier out of the battle. Hetzer's got more armor, although it doesn't move as fast. It does have more armor. Let's get over on the support side here. So that's why I switched this guy up. Alrighty. And we got our MRM boat, which is going to come down this side, I think. Alright, Rusty. Orders? Sprint it up, girl. Let's get down here. No shooting, just running. Yep. Alright. It's so quiet now. Alright, we got a turn to, for everybody to move without shooting. Which I don't know if is a good thing or bad. Alright, so we got a free turn to move up here. So we're going to try and close the gap as fast as possible, I think. Um, who do we have up here? Laser, technical, a flea. So it looks like they've got a light lance. Oh, an archer. Vulture. A light support lance, at least. I don't know what else we've got here. Let's, um... Oof. Let's push along here so those mechs don't see us. Um... You, we really need to get close, so let's get you up. On my way. Got serious range issues with these guys, so... Um, is that the, that's a building there. Let's get you up on this side. Location confirmed. Gonna move into here. No need to tell me twice. Um, AC incendiary trebuchet. Let's get you in there. Confirmed. Uh, rifleman. Let's just get into here for now. Hetzer. Um, the MRM version. We're going to get down. We're going to stay on the road, though. Heading out. And let's get you... You know, got a lot of movement. Let's get in the trees here. We're going to stay with the rifleman and stay at range for fire support. All right, here we go. Yep. Okay, um... What do we got turret wise? I'm I'm worried about these turrets because um, we're we're at um, three and a half skulls now. Energy ballistic. Ah, we got we're gonna have to push them, otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. So let's get up here. If we don't push, it's gonna be serious problems, I think. Okay, we've got that's the archer. What else do we got back here? An Apollo, not so bad. Talos. Good chances on the building. Not bad on this, but no AC-20 shot. Um, I don't know what the real threat is. This heavy calliope scares me with the two missiles. It could be two LRM-20s. Who do I focus fire that down and get rid of it? Talos, three missile and a ballistic. And you got ah, this vulture is also scary too, right? But I can't do much about the vulture until he moves. So I'm going to go after this. Uh, I'm going to use the acid though. Going to hold off in the. In I'm going to want to use the incendiary, I think, on the vulture most likely. Okay, it's a start. All right. Right here. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's stay out of those guys' direct line of sight. Let's get up here. Okay, we're getting more sensors on, which is great. Uh, who do we got back here? Thumper McThumper McThumpyson. Heavy Calliope again. Okay. All right, fair enough. This is just pot shots for now. Let's leave the barrage off. I don't want to waste it on this right now. And heavy rocket launcher ten, eh? Ooh, okay, we got a one hit, one good hit on him. Right here. Okay, we'll take that. We can't get much farther than that, so that's fine. Once these guys come within range, though, it's going to be devastating against these guys. Um, let's get two on this. It's got deltas on this thing. So not too, too bad. 
Oh yeah, they're all on. Beautiful. But if we can remove those two LRMs, that'd be nice. And at least that means when we're hiding behind stuff. What's this guy? AC-10 carrier. Fuck. It's probably got three AC-10s. No, it's got two. Okay. Alright, that's alright. We'll deal with it. We got this. Now that we're getting sight and sensors on these guys, we're gonna we should our longer range guys should have a better chance here. Who's moving? Laser technical? Okay, good. I think that hit was like enough to smarten them up. We should have got a lot of those rockets, I think. Come on. Send Six me of them. Real Beautiful. Awaiting orders. That's like 72 damage we, we got rid of. Are you can you get that Calliope? Kind of can from there. It's a bad spot, though. There's a shot in the archer, which means he can shoot back. That's a shot in the laser technical, too, though. We could go after that. Oh, yeah, I put the uh, another ton of uh, improved ammo in here. Confirmed. Uh, we were down one ton of improved because we lost one in one battle, but now we got it back, so... Uh, yeah, I want to see if we can... Well, he's done, pretty much, this guy. What else do we have here? That's just a building. Building. Heavy calliope turret. Let's take a shot, and hopefully we don't shoot our guy in the back. Okay. Shooting for the other turret, but whatever. Failed to connect. Yeah, I know, I saw that. Yeah, we gotta close the gap really fast here. It's funny too, I wanted to play this, because the last time we played this map, we played down the road here on the left-hand side. And they wanted us to spawn, like, here. And that's where the reinforcements usually arrive. So I'm like, I, I don't know if they're going to get reinforcements in this battle or not. So I decided to take this location, just because it was a different place to start. But it's putting it as a, at a serious disadvantage. As long as these guys move in, I'm happy. Like, move in all you want, I'm good with that. Yeah, they really... I don't know what it is about the Hetzers. I can't... And you you can say it's you, they're going after the easiest one to hit, but it really isn't because the Holopolis is easier. You know, it's like... Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah, it's got thunder. Looks like we're going back this way or out this way. If we can get Clan XL's engines for everybody, then I may invest in some jump jets. Ready for orders. Like two chevrons, two chevrons of evasion, two chevrons of evasion. So you can't argue it's like, and this one's closer, these these mechs are closer both with two chevrons, two chevrons. You can't argue that the Hetzer's easier to hit, because it really isn't. It's like pretty much the same as everybody. Hmm. Let's go after that AC-10 carrier. I think our lasers are out of range, though. They are, but the ACs are beautiful. I'm going to go with this. These guys notoriously have relatively lighter armor, so... Yeah, 100 points on all sides, so... Wow, isn't that lovely? Thanks for showing up. Negative damage. Repeat, negative damage. You keep doing that, I'm putting you back in the heads here. I hear you. Alright, now. What's the chance in this Calliope? 47? We're out of I think we gotta move in with this guy though. Let's try and sprint forward as far as we can. I wanna get those LRMs working. I know we're coming down off the hill here, but... We gotta get a little closer, I think. Okay, LRMs are on here. We got Sam, EMP, and Swarm ammo with these things. I think I want to go incendiary though. And we're just going to fire. Got it. Okay, that was a miss. And a couple hits. Alright, no biggie. Christ, we're going to be out of AMS ammo before this, uh... We, like, get up close and really engage with these guys. You keep doing that. I'm good with that. I don't know how much, um... I don't know how much, uh... Whatchamacallit. 
Um, what are we going to do here? I don't know how much uh, thunder ammo that uh, that's a shot against the turret. Can we get a direct line of sight in the other calliope? Not really. Well, let's get into here because we got to get closer. I don't know how much thunder ammo that Apollo has. I think it's like I think they only carry half a ton. I encountered one in my in, a, in the Irby playthrough. Yes, they're going to be making an appearance very shortly, um, and it only had half a ton. So, should we just go after this guy? Ninety-one damage with this thing. Let's do it. Let's try and get a, a, a early early damage kill against the turret here if we can. All right. Well, we stripped half the armor off it. That's all that matters. Okay. Thumpy McThumperson. We gotta make sure that guy doesn't land a hit. Urban tank thumper. Damaged ballistic. Okay. What's up, boss? Helps a little bit that it's damaged. Full speed. No target. Now we got targets. I don't know. Like, I think the damage to this building has already been applied. Let's just fire on it anyway. No, I guess we missed with all the other ones. Ready for How did that happen, though? On the move. Full speed. Twelve percent, huh? Um. Hmm. Point nine. Nope, we're gonna hold off. Well, we do have dead fire ammo though, right? Oh, we have LK as well. Right, I keep forgetting we have more ammo on here than what I'm seeing. So, let's just go out to this turret. Alright, four hits, not bad. Here comes their missiles. Yeah, they just like the Hetzer. I don't know why. Like, this guy's got three chevrons of evasion. I don't, he's not any easier to hit. Alright, well. We're in striking range now, I would say. Commander. Commander. 20 thunder. 15 thunder. 18. 19. 18. Fifteen. It's a little better. I'm trying to see if we can get a shot. We can get a shot in the vulture from there. I don't know when he goes though. I think we're okay with that. Confirmed. How much damage are we taking here? Twelve. Okay, so that's not too bad. Very low chances to hit in the vulture. So we've got SRMs. Oh, that's the Talos. Where's the vulture? I thought that was the vulture that moved up. Is it? Am I just not seeing him? Flee. Um. You know what? I'm going to do this. We're going to drop the barrage on this guy. Hopefully we hit him and put the barrage close to the buildings. Here you go. Or we put it right on the buildings. That works too. That's actually pretty darn good placement for a miss. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get a shot in the Talos? We can there. Not here though. And we can kind of get one here. Copy that. It's going to put us in a good... There, there he is right there. He's just freaking stealth, that guy. It's going to put us in a good strike position. So let's get into here. I'm going to leave it on acid, I think. For this guy. I'm taking the shot. 
All right, whatever. I think we push down this side here. I mean, we're kind of poised for that anyway. Who was that? Is that the Apollo? That was a bad one, that was. Did you have a... Do you have a medium pulse laser? Or medium X pulse? Probably, eh? Interesting. We gotta get the Hellbringer in here with these big guns. Oh, we got a shot in this guy. Not a good one, but we do have a shot. A little better on this guy though, so I think we go after this guy. I'm gonna put this back to one. Saves a little bit of heat, but not much, but we're gonna fire on this guy. Okay, both ACs hit, beautiful. All right, now we're gonna swarm like vultures on this Talos and bring him down, I think. Yep. Swarm like vultures on the Talos and kill him. Although I don't think you can get a shot on this guy, not unless it's indirect. But we can get in and work on that turret. Can get in and work on this turret. Where are you here? There you are. Oh, we do have a line of sight on this guy. Not very good though. So I think we go this route. Dead fire is pretty darn good chance. Six damage, eight damage. Less hits though. But it lets us save our incendiaries for overheating somebody. So let's go this route. Okay, AC hit, beautiful. There's the finish up, and no. How did that take? It's alright, that's what the Hetzer's for. The LRM Hetzer, that is. We can drop some Lerms on that guy. We should be able to finish him up this turn. If we can get the MRM Hetzer in and, and target this guy, hopefully we can pull that turret down too. Couple of mortars. Meh. Yeah, see, once again, going after the Hetzer. I know he's only got one Chevron, but... Standing by. You gotta get your ass up here. I know this rifleman's slow, but you got to start engaging. 18% and we're shooting through our guys here. No, we're not really. So 18 on you. 23 with the ACs on you. I think we take the three shots with 18. Go after this guy. Or four shots, that is. Oh, two hits. 60 damage. Beautiful. Nice! That looked like the AC-10 carrier. Yep, it was. As long as he's not shooting directly, I'm happy with that. Oh, well that, was that was that the Talos? No, the AC-10 carrier didn't move. Okay. See, once again, I don't know. Don't know what it is about these Hetzers. So my suggestion, try getting a couple Hetzers in your group and uh, keep them back a little farther like this. Draw the enemy fire, let them pepper them with a little bit of damage here or there. Minimal damage. And strip the armor off them before they get a chance to do much. That's Stumpy McThumperson. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, we're just gonna walk this one. Now, what's our chance on this guy? Pretty darn low. Now, uh this turret. A little better. Tell me what to shoot. Okay, he's almost got no armor left. Maybe we can get our MRM carrier in there. So this turret should be gone this turn. This guy here. With the Hetzer LRM. This guy hopefully we can kill with the Hetzer MRM. Probably not though. I know we got 40 MRMs, but our accuracy is going to be pretty darn low. Now they're supposed to have a garrison plus two support lances. I don't think I'm seeing enough. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so I guess maybe the second support lance might only have two. Or both support lances only have three. Something like that. 
That puts me in a good position here. On the move. Avoids the fire too. Nice. Could kill a technical. This is actually not bad against him. That's a side shot in the Talos with the damaged arm, and I think that's our shot right there. Taking the shot. A little bit of internal damage on this on the side torso. Good to go. All right, Must Monster. I don't think you can get in to get that turret, can you? You cannot. How do I want to do this? Maybe this way. On the move. Full speed. Follow these guys up. Did we pot shot this archer at 11%. I don't think so. 47 on that building. 47 on that one. Let's go for the one with the most hit points. Take it Yeah, I can't believe our we missed from that ring. Wow. What was that what being fired from? That's all you got. Oh, that's the uh yeah, that's the vulture. I've been center locked. That's all right. That's all right. Standing by. Okay, we need to get you up. I copy. Get a little bit more range. We're going to drop some LRMs on this guy. Hopefully we can finish this up. Yep, beautiful. Don't have to worry about him shooting this turn. That turret is gone. They got a lock on me. Our chair. Oh, that's the Calliope turret. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Yeah, we got to take that turret out. Don't worry. Oh, we got a Urban Mech LRM. Okay. So maybe they do have... There's probably a couple, one more guy back there that I haven't seen yet. Alright. You got speed. What are we looking for armor here? Legs did take a fair bit of damage coming out of that minefield. It said, we said we only took 12, but I don't think so. I think it was a lot more than that. Ah, uh, man. He's going on 18. What do we got here? For We got 19, 19. That's two heavy hitters. 19 with the art with the riflemen so I mean if we push him like so Roger. Full throttle. and then we do this and then Yeah, I think we got to pull this guy down. But I want salvage out of him, so I don't know if I want to just dump all my missiles into him. I mean, I could go after this guy with everything. Archer's about to... Oh, we just don't shoot the missiles yet. I think we just shoot this guy with the lasers and hopefully get him with the tag. I'm going to Warlord this, because I think it's an important one. If we can get him with the tag, I think that's really going to help out. Um, yeah. Lock in we miss with the tag. Man, one of those few times where we miss with the tag. Hopefully by pushing him too, he'll move back into the barrage. Okay, Talos is, wants to get up and go some personal here. What? Oh, that was a charge attack. Okay. I get that. What do you need? See, charge attacks I can see knocking, you know, knocking you down. God, that AC-10 carrier is right fucking there. I think we need to deal with that first. <sighs> that just means this guy gets to shoot again, though. That's probably a kill shot on him, though. And if we're going to go for the kill shot, then let's not... Oh, uh, the AC-10 is going to... AC-10 carrier will see us pretty much wherever we go. Let's get to here, though. Roger. 
Get rid of our instability. Let's try for a kill shot in this guy. Roger. No, we hit the leg. Badass. Well, at least he's knocked down. Is he? No? Of course not. Why would he be knocked down with an AC-20 hitting him? I can't believe he knocked us over, though. I need to pay more attention to melee now. I'm noticing that the mechs, enemy mechs are meleeing a heck of a lot more than they used to be. So it's going to be make it's going to make things like defensive gyro and uh, having higher piloting skills on my frontline mech a lot more important. We need to get in there before they uh, they shoot him up too badly because I don't think we're going to get a chance to use those. Uh, we're not going to get a chance to use those missiles if this guy stays on the ground. This is going to be a controversial attack, but I think it needs to be done. Um, we need to save some heat here. But I am going to Warlord this one. And we are going to try and kill this AC-10 carrier. No, oh, maybe. Not quite enough. Yes, Commander. There's a shot in the Talos. On it. We're going to take it. If anything, it should knock his ass to the ground. Oh yeah, juicy. See ya, buddy. I don't know, sacrificing the uh... Fuck, he's gonna shoot the guy in the ground. No, he's not. Oh! What was that? Come on, send me a real mech warrior. That was a bad choice. I mean, I guess you'd have to worry about hitting your own guy here, but... I don't know if this is a good trade-off, the Talos for the uh, Firestarter, though. Firestarter's worth way more than that Talos is. We gotta get up there. Yeah, just hang on. Hang on, please. Here comes that archer, damn it. Oh, he's going to the Hetzer again! I think he's got swarm ammo, or that might have been cinderies or something. Looked like swarm. Yep. All right, Sarge, we need to uh, get in here and help this guy. Who hasn't gone? The Apollo hasn't gone. Let's get into here. All right, full speed. And let's see if we can draw some fire from this guy. Um, not the best chances, though. But if we don't, he's probably going to shoot our guy on the ground. That could be a kill shot on this guy. He's only got two, two chemical lasers left, so not a big deal. Vulture's taking a bit of damage. I mean, we could target the archer, but he's already gone this turn. The flea could be a lot of damage. No thank you on the buildings. I think, yeah, let's try to draw this guy's fire. Acknowledge. Worst case scenario, he takes a bit of heat and he's standing in fire. Aye, aye. Alright, let's put those MRMs to good use here. I think this might be an Apollo shot as well. This is a kill shot on him. Flea's already gone though. That's actually not that bad on him. We'll go. Okay, the large laser hit, that's beautiful. Not a lot of missiles though. That's alright. At least he knows we're looking at him. Staying out of direct fire. 
I'm okay with that. At least like tin carrier is scary as hell. Confirm. We're gonna drop some lerms on him though this turn from the uh, Hetzer. Yeah, you know we're looking at you. They're not targeting the guy on the ground. I guess they figure they've got a whole nother turn. Thumpy McThumperson. I wonder if he's um wonder if he's jammed. I think we need to stay in the trees here. Roger that. They're really targeting our headsers and I don't want them to die. Not the best, but we might get lucky and kill him. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Two AC tens off the board. Vehicle he's part down. of the Who is he part of? No idea who he was part of, but whatever. It's probably because we haven't quote unquote moved up and scouted the base yet. Let's just walk it up. I want to give these guys somebody else to shoot for. I don't think they will, but. 13 and 11, eh? Ah, do I want to EMP this guy? He hasn't done anything though. We could amp this guy. Let's give it a shot. I uh, hope we don't miss with the artillery though. No, we did not miss with the artillery. Alright, we've got a bit of EMP on him. Makes them more susceptible to heat damage and stuff, too. Okay, let's get you up here. 31, 25, 13, 54. Let's try and get guns off the field here. Okay, even if he gets up, he's going to have a hard time. I think I hit something good. Back turret. A right, little bit of damage. Hold and firm. There's the barrage coming in. Should get the vulture a little bit. Nope. Took what? Did we get one of the buildings? We did not. All right, whatever. Receiving you. How are you going first? I'm gonna walk it because we already got our stability back here. Um, yeah, it might be this shot. No, it's this shot. This guy's got EMP on him now, right? So, God, this archer, nice and accurate. Only two hits on him though. But we pen the we, we pen the shoulder, so that's good. If we can fire suppress this vulture, oh, our. Uh, our fire starter goes on 11, which isn't bad, although they... Who's going on 19? One of their guys is going on 19. Oh, it's the flea. Flea's going. What are you doing, though? Yeah, shooting the guy in the ground. No, shooting the Hetzer. What is up with the Hetzer? I don't... Why are you shooting the Hetzers? Yeah? Rusty's here to save the day. Sorry, Sarge is here to save the day. I don't know what the hell Rusty's doing. Um. Um is not a word. 60%. This guy. I have no idea. 40% on this guy. 28 with the, uh. Is there a better spot to shoot from though? A little better with here with the uh, missiles. We need to get... Let's get this archer shot at. Because he goes relatively early. Uh, let's warlord this. Get some better hits on this guy, hopefully. 
Okay, that's enough. That's like plenty of heat on him. What do you need? I need you to fucking kill this guy over here. AC-10 carrier is gone. You can move up. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's burnt. We want to burn this guy up. Or just go pre precision. Wait, precision? 91? Is is, precision is no different. Let's go incendiary on this guy. See if we can get him superheated, then maybe he'll uh, attempt... Maybe we can, like, overheat him and get him to bail out. Okay, that was a leg hit. Yeah, I got, I got all ten of them with the AMS. But he's, it, he's overheated, though. Again, a Hesser shot. I don't get it. Lots of armor. How's that archer doing, though? Is he overheated? He, oh, he's superheated, so he might shut Man. down. I hope he does. Actually, let's just do this. Get into here, and then we'll decide what our target's going to be. We could go after the archer, but I don't know. I may want to keep fire suppressing this Apollo. He's got a pair of MML9s, though, so it's not really... I mean, he is a threat, but he's not really a threat, you know? And the archer's already gone, but look at the chance to hit on this guy. Um, more medium lasers. So this guy's the pirate version. He's filled with a lot of gak. I mean, we could blow this torso off. How much do I want to mess around with this guy, though? Um, he's already gone. I think we go... I think we're going to fire suppress this guy this turn. Target confirmed. We're in a good position. I mean, we, I, I want to get some good salvage out of this. Show me your war face. Yes, beautiful. Oh, he hadn't gone this turn. Shit. Well, I wouldn't have been able to kill him anyway unless I got really lucky. Losing lots of That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Waiting for orders. Alright, well... What's up, Mr. Vulture? Let's just hammer him with stuff. Okay, engine crit, which means he's going to be continue to be superheated for quite a while. Pilot hit. So, he is the target for our... Um, for Sarge now. We're going to keep him superheated, I think. I just hope that he... We don't blow him up. I hope that he bails. I'd love to get that vulture, too. They're not even targeting my guy on the ground. I don't understand. I don't... I don't get it. Maybe their... Artillery is planning on shooting or something? Or maybe they can't see him because he's, like, behind a hill here or something. But well, the archer should have been able to hit him. The Vulture should have been able to hit him. That, that's a clear kill. Okay, he got some burn damage to him. Waiting for orders. Let's stay out of the fire, but in the trees. Nineteen. This guy's unstable. Let's fire at him and keep the instability going. Wow, a couple hits. Okay. Might need to put Flatline back in there. Although I don't... Or sorry, Sar... Uh, what's her name? Um, Tiger Tail. Oh, he's moving in now. Oof. Ow. Someone's got dead fire. can I do for you? Let's get some more fire suppression on this guy. 
Alright, let's war it though. Uh, EMP. Oh, I almost want to go and shoot EMP at the, um, the Vulture, but I think we need to hit this guy. Let's mess up his sensors and stuff a bit here. Ah, uh, there's a miss. Alright, one, two hits. Alright, whatever. Bumpy McThumperson not doing anything. Urban Mac LRM not doing anything. Wonder if he's filled with dead fire. What do we got next? Reporting. Ooh. You got so lucky, kiddo. So lucky. Got this dang thing back up. You do. Let's get all your stability back because you're gonna sprint out of there. Where are we gonna put you though? Right there. Maximum speed. Let's keep that leg hidden. And let's finish this guy up, because fuck him. Here we go. There you go. That's a kill, Commander. Yeah, see, I have no idea why it's, like, not reporting anything. I think it's the same error we had the last time. I think we kind of need to get to the base to determine... Hmm. Oh, Christ, you get to go again? You don't get fire maneuver, do you? No. Do we want to tandem this guy? I wish I had incendiaries. I'd gladly take the shot if they were all incendiaries. Shit, I can't... I can't. I have to stay here to hide from the Apollo. Can we go anywhere? I don't think we can go anywhere without... Like, if I stay here... Well, it's really this side. Okay, that's not too... too bad if we come around this side. Like this. That way the Apollo can't shoot our leg. And then I think we, um... Yeah, we got a second medium X-Pulse on here now, too. I can't remember if I had that last battle or this one or whatever, but... I think we apply some missiles to this guy very liberally. That's almost an overheat. Let's keep the rocket 10 in case we need him, but let's hammer this guy with this and see what happens. All right, not bad. Mm. All out of short range missiles. He goes next, though. He's super heated, so as soon as he fires, uh, he's going to shut down, I think. Firing incendiaries, it looks like. Oh, maybe not. I'm showing minor damage. Yeah, he's done. You are finished. Orders. On it. All right, let's see good day. See if we can connect to this guy's head. Nope. Good damage though. Yep. Let's Not as good chance to hit this time, but that's fine. Uh. Yeah, we're going to maintain the incendiaries. Although, oh, this guy's been connected to the head. He's got an AMS, so let's just leave this off. Well, we might get them through. Confirmed. Nope. Got all of them. Well, they are unguided, so... Oh, we missed with the AC. It's okay. We still got, uh... We still got Sarge to go. That's what we want to target him with, is Sarge. He's going to go before her, though, I think, from what I noticed. Bear 
Friendly hit, Commander. Yes, Commander. It's so tempting. It, it is the other side from this. We might get lucky and plink him in the head too. Let's go with the incendiaries though. And give it to him. Enjoy this, buddy. You ain't shooting all those down. He got, he got 15 of them though. Jesus. He's still got LRMs coming too. He's probably going to shoot like most of those down. Well, maybe not. We'll see. He gets to go now though, so we'll see what he's going to do. No, oh, that's the vehicle. Do they think they can hurt me? Does that mean our Hellbringer gets to go before him? Probably. Wait, he goes. That was the vehicle on 18. There's one enemy on 17, and then most likely we get to go on 16 with this uh, the Hellbringer. Okay, he's taking burn damage again. If we get lucky, he might just burn himself out. So, um, while we're waiting for these guys to do what they're going to do, I wonder if those MMLs are jamming. Um, anyway, uh, so I took the Irbys out up, to make some sea bills because I had to make a financial report. And uh, I did a one and a half skull uh, destroy base, or capture, not capture base. I can't remember what it was what it was now. Uh, we want to go this route or we want to go this route? I think we want to put pressure on the vulture. Position confirmed. But I think we want to go after this guy. Let's just try for the pull down, I think. Um, how much is this giving us? Too much. There goes the torso. Okay, he doesn't have much time left in this world. Anyway, um... Yeah, I, I'm more and more convinced now that minefields are broken. That We got six urban mechs now, and three vehicles. We have the same three vehicles. Aye, aye. But, like, oh man, the, um, the amount of insanity Understood. with the minefields now. So I, I did this mission, it was one and a half skulls, it ended up being versus six medium mechs. And I'm like, oh shit, I, I, I don't know if I can do this with the Urban Max. We're in the open. Well, we were behind a hill, but we were we were open, right? Nice. Let's hit him hard. Look at the heat on that thing. Scored a critical hit. Another engine crit, which means he's generating so much ridiculous heat now. Oh, he's finally decided to shoot. Well, he missed everybody, so that's fine. He didn't miss though. Light damage, Commander. And it was so we were on you, ended up in such a close range fight, like it was really, really ridiculous. The the close like how close everything was. And um, we had applied enough minefields. So I killed um, I killed how many did I get? I think it was I killed three of the six with mines. Those guys didn't even get a chance to shoot at me. Because they, 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 they couldn't get up to the hill to get me. I'm just going to pot Roger shot this guy. Firing on target. He's not going to bail. Damn it. Yep. And then the other three... Um, one was killed standing up and it was because it was an ammo explosion. It was a Wolverine. He got killed by an ammo explosion. And then the second one, uh, or the other two, which was a Blackjack and an Apollo, both got killed because one of their legs got blown off. And what's the chance on this guy? Nothing, because I can't, for some reason, see him. Okay. Uh, one of their legs got blown off and I killed the other one while I was on the ground. It was a Blackjack and an Apollo got killed on the ground. And, well, that was terrible. And, um, 
The Wolverine got killed standing up because it was an ammo explosion. It was direct fire from one of the vehicles. I killed it. And um, then a Jenner, a Raven, and what was the last guy? I, I don't even remember. Standing they by. got killed running through the minefield. The Jenner was killed in one turn. Um, he just was gone. Like, attempted to run through the minefield and it was over. Um, the Raven took two turns Moving to kill. Out. And the last guy was I'm trying to think of now what it was. It was it was he didn't even get a chance to go. It was so insignificant. Like I, I can't even remember what it was now. Let's keep applying. Well, let's apply some heat to this guy. I think. Because the archer can't do anything. So yeah. Okay, twenty nine heat, but. He still really, he probably has a double heat sink kit. Yeah, what was the last guy now? Raven, Jenner, Wolverine, Blackjack, Apollo, and... Reporting light damage. Was, it wasn't a Clint, but it was something like that. It was a 40-tonner though, wasn't it? Maybe it was a Clint. I don't even remember. I didn't have to. I didn't have to do anything because he just he lost his legs. Uh, copy. It was just. It's just so broken. Like honestly, it just the the, the mines well, are just so confirmed. broken. I I think if anything, if they're going to do anything at all, and I know I've said this already, limit the limit the. Um, let's go this route. Maybe we can kill this turret. Beautiful. Not a kill, but good damage. We got the Hatcher to come. That was a critical hit. SRMs are gone. All right, Sarge. Um, you will kill that uh, vulture if you shoot at it. Although, how is he doing? Actually, not so bad. If we leave. If we just go this route... Confirm. No. Ah, damn it. So, I don't know if that was a torso kill, probably. Which means if he had an XL, it's gone. But we'll probably get a couple pieces out of that, so if we've, if we've got one in this playthrough, then hopefully... Because that would be... A, I, would, I would quickly swap that out for the Bushwhacker, like, instantly. Yeah, get lost. But yeah, they have to narrow the the like the bands of mines because I mean this is like two LRM launch or two MRM launchers, right? Dropping a minefield in here. And I had, I mean, you'll see the Irby playthrough. It's insane. Like it, like it's so hard finding a balance balance match for those guys because. For if we get all, if we get a good, uh, good positioning, then um, Location confirmed. we can easily destroy the enemy. All we got to do is shoot at them, and then uh, let's just kill this guy. Now let's go for the legs. See what happens. Or go for the torso too. That works. At least we got a knockdown on him. So this will be two, I think. Yeah, two. Well, hey, we didn't we destroy his torso? Shouldn't he have taken? Oh, maybe he didn't take damage from that. Maybe he resisted it. Yeah. <laughs> On it. Hey, uh, do you guys know what a flea's worth night night worst nightmare is? Is a precision and back shot from an AC twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it's so worth it. Ah, <laughs> uh, so worth it. Commander. So I still haven't got a full handle on this melee thing. Like, so we got. So if we let, let's say we decide to melee this guy, right? We got a twenty-three percent chance or twenty-two percent chance with a charge with a lot of damage. Punch is 20% chance. Kick is 50% chance for 61%. But we're going to take stability damage too, though, right? 
Like we take stability damage with this. So, like I'm not. It's good to go. I'm not going to be doing melee. Like I said, I already. I think I've already said this. I'm not going to be doing melee in this particular playthrough, but we are going to be doing it in the uh, backyard hooligans. So, I'm going to work on figuring it out in that playthrough. But for this one, I want to make sure that we. Uh, You know, not risk any of our mechs at this point. Let's just fire on this guy. Sawed off thumper and a pepper box rifle, eh? He's got pretty chunky armor too, it looks like. What can I do for you? Counter thumper damage maybe? Or do we just That's a pretty good chance on him. Eh. Eh. Let's hold off with the LRMs, let's just fire the thumper at it. Uh -huh. Nice. Turret I was really unsure if I was going to hit that, but we do have the uh, LRM heads here left, so... Good to go. Yeah, something's got to be done with the minefields, though. Like I said, the spread. It, it's, it's really the spread. Like, it's really got to... They have to do something about that. Cause that's just way too much. Like it may be that way in real life. Like if you if you can if you say let let's say you say every hex is like, well this is probably three meters wide. So let's say every hex is ten meters. That's thirty meters. Which is like you know hundred feet. That's a pretty big. That's a pretty big darn minefield. See ya. Vehicle trashed. You got that right. We're on cleanup mode now. They got those two big thumpers back there, plus the calliope that I gotta worry about. That's the pepper box rifle going off. He looks like he turned, changed his side too. Yep. That's a shot in that urban mech. Urban mech MM turret. So that's the right arm facing. Let's go this way. So it's more frontal if they shoot me. Fast. So this turret now, 240 with the ballistic, if we switch to incendiary, 140 damage if we hit, 55, this is just, uh, this won't give it to us, minus one to recoil, minus 10% heat generated, 20% jam chance, I see this is really meant for missiles, gonna have to change her, uh, her mech I think. Oh, the AC hit though. Got the acid on there. I want to go hunting this Apollo. Let's do this. Uh, copy. We're going to go hunting the Apollo. Let's get into here. That archer is like... Not as important as killing this guy. Yeah, we got to leave one of these off. I really need to get some heat sinking properly in this thing. I got to go back and take a look and see what... Uh, who did that one hit. Nice. It's got so much armor though. I got to go back and see... Like I'm sure we got a double heat sink kit in there, but I just don't think... Oof. That Apollo, man. Light damage, Commander. Sarge, I need you on that guy. Awaiting orders. Just get out of the heat and get the MRMs on this thing over here. Yep, yeah, firing. Roger that. Nice damage.
Hey, I'm fine with that. You want to help us out? I'm good. I'm under heavy fire here. Yeah, well. Did more damage to them than he did to us, so. Standing by. Okay, looking for the solid red line on this archer. Which we have, but we're shooting right by the head of our guy here, right through the back. Oof, either way. 99% though. We missed with one. Do you see that? Scored critical hit. I'm sure I told you about... People... I, I talk about odds with people all the time, right? It's like, oh, you know, you've got a really great chance to do this, or a really great chance to do that, and I'm like, you know... Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah. You, you want to talk about odds, like, I, I had a 99.7% chance of victory in a battle I was facing on a, on a, on a game I was playing. And 99.7, and I lost. My hero died against the, an idiot with a 99.7% chance of victory. As much as you want to argue that it's like, oh, that should never happen. It's like, well, it's not 100%. <laughs> it just isn't 100%. 99.7, not 100. 99.1 is not a 100% chance of hitting. So, yeah, we're not going to hit nothing here. Let's just... Uh, Send one down range. Right, Commander. Ooh, that's not bad. It's two hits. I'm here. Can you get you can get a shot on Thumpy Thumpers in there over there. Understood. Moving fast. I know I'm ignoring this archer and I probably shouldn't, but we got bigger fish to fry right now. Um going to go Warlord on this one. Although we could get a really good shot off on this guy. But I think I want this guy gone. Copy that. Still not enough to kill though. That guy's got so much armor. What do you need? First get out of the fire. And then, drop some lerms on this guy. Haven't got much left. Two more turns of fire and then we're done. Who bailed? That was the archer. That was the archer, right? Please tell me that was the archer that bailed. I'm pretty sure it was. Yep, he gave up. He probably, you know what probably happened? Is he probably couldn't stand up. Either that or he couldn't, uh, he couldn't sink the heat and then he just like, fuck this and I'm done. I, I'm, I'm glad I left him alone. Let's just go with the ACs on this guy. They all hit. Beautiful. I'm liking the AC loadout in this thing. Although I want to get some cluster ammo. This Apollo, man. Look at this. He's crazy, that guy. Reporting. Crazy good, that is. He's still unstable, though. This might Head not be the best move. But I want to take a chance and get after this Apollo and see if we can take get rid of him here. Uh, we want everything on here. And the barrage. And the warlord. Confirmed. There goes his leg. Nice. Nice. Got past the armor. Mm. Have a seat, buddy. Your battle's over. Good fight. Standing by. As one punch man would say, nice fight. I don't want to hurry this. 
guy's going to shoot at me again, though. Can I move anywhere that I can get that shot at that turret, but not... You know what? Let's get a shot at that, um... Let's go to here. On my way. We're still got... We're, our, our armor's still okay. Let's get a shot at this guy instead. I'm going to go standard on him, though. Uh, incendiary ammo. For the MRMs. Okay, I'm on it. 100 points to a building, though. Yes, Commander. Okay, can we get a turret shot or... Oh, wait, wait, what, what, what? Oh, there was a solid blue line there somewhere. Here. Flames in the way, though. This guy's pretty well... Confirmed. She runs pretty darn cool. And we can just leave the ER off if we have to. Stay, leave the incendiaries on. Leave the ER off. Fire the missiles. That should do it. Thumpy McThumperson is now Deddy McDedderson. I'm here. Confirmed. Okay. Now, you. Um, gonna go with incendiaries. It's not the best ammo to do damage, but it'll keep them. It'll heat them up and hopefully force them to bail out. The armor. Okay, we're definitely heating him up. Commander. Copy that. Let's see if you got a chance to pull that leg. Funny thing is, his rifleman seems so far behind. But I'm like, I don't really care because she's doing such a good job from the back. I don't really have to worry too much about it. It's just steady, constant firepower. There you go. I don't even know what to say. She just does such a great job. As long as you got line of sight with that thing, it's great. And then even if we run out of ammo for DACs, we still have the two large lasers, right? So. I hear you. All right, don't even bother moving. Let's just go after this turret here. I want this thing out of here. Incendiaries. Let's go ahead and warlord it. Getting close enough to the end, we can use the warlord on this guy. He's got a rotary five. All right, so we got to be careful of that then. I think he's out of thumper ammo. Yeah. Yeah, sure I'm he is. Sure, he's out of thumper ammo. All right, here comes our last. Uh, last indirect shot. Long range missile are out. Commander. Yeah, so these are all building shots now, it looks like. Let's Copy get up that. here. Yeah, that thumper is still down behind the uh, thing there. Let's take this... Uh, no, let's not take that building out of the way. That's providing a little bit of cover for our bushwhacker here. But we could probably remove this building. Yeah, it's not registering it. Destroyed. There's a position I think All we right. had to be at. I don't know where it is. Maybe right on top of the base? I can't remember. Copy that. Yeah. This Treb does such great damage against turrets, there's no point there's no point in not uh doing this. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he missed with the AC. I got the turret anyway though. It's fine. One last turret. Got the turret anyway. Alright. Um waiting for orders. It's gonna heat us up, but aye, aye. We're okay. Uh, it's just vigilance. Get rid of the rest of that instability. Wow. This guy had nothing to start with. Let's go ahead this way. And let's give it all to him. Commander. Copy 
Commander. Let's bring this to a quick close if we can. Roger that. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Well, I guess we found the uh, place we need to be. Uh, let's fire at this guy. Firing on the target. Scored a critical hit. No short range missiles remaining. Uh, what do we got over here? Bombard, Rifleman, Hollander, and a Frankie. Well, that should be an interesting Commander. set of enemies. Let's do it this way. And shoot everything at this guy. There he goes. Another one for the kill board. I think he was running an XL, he must have been. Standing by. Can I get a shot on I can't. Alright, I'm not gonna risk the bushwhacker over there. Let's just go this way. I'm just worried about that, that thumper tank. If it takes a direct line, a direct shot at me, it could do a lot of damage. I mean, it's, I know it's a big if, but uh, let's just kill this building. Miss with the AC-20 at that range, eh? Alright, we got swarms, so let's use it. Who's the threat here? No idea what the bombard. It's got two ballistic. It's probably two mortars, but it could be two other things. Let's go with swarm. Hopefully, hit somebody over there. Time to die. Nope, somebody's got AMS, but we did do a bunch of damage. It looked like. Aye, aye. Bunch of mini damage. We might as well use the hatcher to finish these buildings up. A dead fire left, so why not? Works for me. Target Two down. Destroyed. That's the reason why I didn't want to close with that guy. They got a sensor lock on me. All right, let's see what we can do here. I copy. All right, I think we're behind the hill far enough here, so we're gonna kill this thumper tank first. Kirby thumper, it's got a large laser on it as well. Lock in target. I know because I've got one in the Urban Mech playthrough. It's actually not a bad little vehicle. We got a, we have high explosive, which actually came in handy in that uh, battle versus those medium mechs, because the battlefield, like right where we were supposed to go to do the uh, retrieval, aye, aye. was so covered in mines. Like uh, there was no way any of my mechs could have got there without losing all their legs. So I just used the HE ammo to clear all the minefields. And then we were able to just walk over and grab the uh, thing we needed to grab. Okay, there's a pen. Target's taking a critical hit. Aye, aye. Full sprint, please. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Okay, good damage. Yes, Commander. We gotta kill this Calliope too, but I think I might leave that to the uh, Bushwhacker. Ah, uh, we're gonna go into overheat here. Let's drop those. Oh, that doesn't help, does it? Let's leave those on. And shut down the rest of these for the uh, attack on the other guys. Beautiful. Alright, just the reinforcements and the one turret left. Well, of course, in a buildings, but... Rack 2, looks like. Alright, we're gonna play that game, are we? 
Receiving you. I need you up here bad. Guess we go full speed this way. On my way. Double time. Save our ammo just in case. Not enough, eh? Standing by. Got Start getting it. some Next height team. here. No shooting. Hopefully it'll help out. Still gonna target this bombard. No sweat. Wow, that's a huge miss. I guess we know it wasn't you that had the AMS. I'm here. Position confirmed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and vigilance you. So we can go before this guy next turn. And, uh... He's got rocket packs. And a handheld rack, too. Really? Wow, that's super interesting. Which means he's not gonna be hot at all. We definitely won't have a double heatsink kit, which means we might be able to heat him up really easy. I wonder what that rifleman's got. Yes, Commander. Buildings, please. Shoot the small one. Hopefully, we can finish this guy off. Nope. Well, next turn. I think we got two more turns of ammo. Yeah, they want me to crest that hill. Commander. I don't blame them. I want the same thing. Moving. I'd want the same thing. All right. Oof! I didn't realize that I could only shoot those two. Here we go. Damn, that was a mistake. Thought I'd be able to get the, at least the X pulses off. Ready for orders. That's full sprint, man. Got it. One less well, Hellbringer is pretty relatively fresh, so I might bring that up over the hill first. Where are you going? Aye, aye. Yeah, I think we need to wait till uh, we're ready for this here. Let's not crest any hills. I think they're capable of applying a half that Calliope silent, so let's not worry about him. Uh, how much do we got left here? We got some dead fire left. Let's just hold on. Let's just do this. I don't think it's going to do anything, but... Are I've they out of range? Yeah, they're out of range. It uses up your whole turn, so... Okay, so I think he fired all of his rockets there. Yeah, you can take it. He had a really Standing bad by. chance to hit, so. Let's get over here. We got a shot at him. So the guys can't see us, though. We got lots of ammo on this guy, so. No, nope, he only used one of his rockets. Wait, are those rocket packs or just rockets? I think they're rocket packs. Which means he gets five turns of firing with them. Okay. Good to go. Frankie Frankerson? Ooh, Hellbringer's taking a C oh that's massive CT damage. Uh let's get over here. You got it.
Might as well stand in the fire that I don't think was there before. Oh shit, he's got heavy rocket launcher 10s. Crap. Oh, we, do. we need more people over there now. We gotta get that turret out of here. This turret's gotta go! AC-20, beautiful. That should do it. Yep. That turret is gone. Loving that AC-20 on the bushwhacker. Now that we have the capability of actually hitting a lot with the damn thing, it's totally worth it. Alright, we got some line of sight here. Just gotta start changing things around a little bit. Hey, Frankie, what's up? Wow. Somebody's got some serious uh, ECM over there. Orders. I don't know who it is. Oh yeah, you need to finish the buildings up, right? You got two shots left. We only need one to finish the buildings up here. So let's just do it. Nice. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about the LZ. LZ's gonna be right on top of us in a second. Okay, now, um, they really want you. Let's just go back here for a second. We're gonna brace it up here. I'm here. Let's give it a turn. Going full throttle. We're gonna come over the hill next turn. The rifleman's almost here, so... Oof, he's got a fair bit of stuff on him. Awaiting orders. Moving to position. Drop that heat. Ready for orders. Coordinates received. Drop that heat. Where's the rifleman? Aye, aye. Nope, that's not the rifleman. Roger. Running low on ammo, so we'll just hang on for a second. I hear you. You, on the other hand, you got a shit ton of armor, so I'm not worried about you. On my way. I mean, I am, but I'm not, you know, at the same time. You can take fire from all these guys and not have to worry about it. Direct fire mode is only 18%. Swarm, incendiary, EMP probably in the Frankie. Special delivery. All right, we got two hits. Looks like. Waiting for orders. Full speed. Okay, they've already gone. Affirmative. So I don't mind taking some pot shots with her right now. 28 on this guy, so we'll take the 28. I'm not going to precision it on this guy, though. Alright, one hit penned. Nice. Looks like an arm hit. See what happens. Rifleman's backing up a little bit. What loadout is that? Yeah, that was an arm hit. Arm's almost gone. Yeah, rocket pack 20s. Yep. Just get up here. Looking out. Let's get up here. Done your job for today. Get to cool off. So we got direct fire against direct fire now, pretty much. Yeah, you shoot your rocket packs. This is 75 tonner. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Yeah, you got tons of armor. I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> maxed out your armor. Even though you don't need maxed armor. You've you got maxed out armor. Lombard, I'm not sure what he's shooting, though. Alright, let's finish this I'm up, here. guys. Let's finish this up. Let's get right on these fuckers. Roger. 
All right, 48. What's precision here? 61 on this guy. Let's just cycle through everybody here, though. That's not bad. Let's switch to acid, though. Nope. Nope. 48's not bad in the rifle. He's got four energies. So probably two large or two mediums, maybe? Let's go on this guy. Acknowledged. Yeah, AC hit. Nice one. Order. All right, same target, please. Let's move. Uh, yes, let's go all in. Do I want to Warlord this? No, because those other guys are harder to hit. So let's go all in. Nice. Got past the armor. Oh, he had AC-20s. Ooh, I'm glad he didn't hit. Let's not get everybody on you. Especially that idiot with the rocket pack. So wait, our right side has got the leg damage. So let's just face them a little bit. Affirmative. Get the barrage. Maybe we get the barrage on there. Fire now. Oh, he's he's the old version. He's got the large laser tronals. So those are the. This is the old, old guy. So if we hammer him with heat, he'll bake in no time. He's gonna bake really fast. Uh, Hollander's got what? That's the handheld rack guy in the rocket packs. Okay. We can kind of take it. Kind of. Orders. Frankie's the danger here, though. 40% chance. 72 on the rifleman. 40 on this guy. I think we need to take shots at the Frankie and let him know that you should be targeting the Rifleman instead. Okay, two hits. Nice. Nice. So who's next here? That was 21. Frankie. Goes to Hollywood. Alright, we he penned. We're going to have to back up now. I'm taking internal damage. Yep. Those tacos you've Standing been eating, buddy, by. I've been telling you. Okay, so that's the rifleman we're targeting. So we're going to move up here. Copy that. Target this guy. Do I want rifleman parts? Oh, we're out of, uh... Ah, I thought we had incendiaries left. Damn it. Oh, well. Fine. Affirmative. Okay, the ER hit. Stripping some armor. Bye. Okay, Sarge. Okay, so that's the left side. So we do that, kind of. Do this. Incendiaries all the way. And we're going to precision strike this to hopefully get everything on this guy. And heat his ass up really bad. Okay, the AC hit. So he's like nice and hot now. Commander. Who knows, you might get a clinch, clinch strike in before the match is over, so keep moving up, buddy. He should shut down. Yep. Yepper. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to switch it up to this guy. Direct fire, EMP, let's warlord it. That guy shut down, so let's just focus on the guys we can go at. Well, the guys we should be going after. Nice. Aye, aye. Okay, this is the MRMs. Going into the trees to try and reduce some of the damage. Frankie is a good chance. We're going to go to the Frankie, I think. Just 
too many missiles for you to shoot down, buddy. Target's taking a critical hit. He's freaking superheated too. Mm -hmm. Alright, if we're gonna move in, that's our right side. So we need to keep the left side to the enemy. More so like this, I think. Do we want to go against the riflemen? Maybe. Maybe we do. Go for that headshot. Although, no, I think we do this. I think we do this. Confirm. Shit. Really? Really? You wonder why people have asked me why don't I, why don't I use uh, precision strike more often? That's the reason why. <laughs> that is fully the reason why. Because if I had just shot, I would have definitely done damage to him like a lot more than I did there. I'm just gonna shoot these. Snub the PPC gun. All right. Inflicted some heavy damage. Would like to have that, but salvage, but. I'm fine with it being gone. Yeah, he should shut down probably. Theoretically. Minimal damage on that hit. Nope, he's handling that Reporting heat just fine, I guess. Damage. Handling that heat just fine. Let's use incendiary on this guy. Nice. Scored a critical hit. Commander. All right, buddy. Oh, you're still doing okay. kind of okay. Wait, so that's the right side. We want to turn the left side. Like this. You got it. And then let's just turn these off. Go full AC on this guy. Come on, that's just give up, buddy. There you go. There you go. So it's just really the Hollander left. We still got our overheater left here too, so we might be able to shoot the Hollander and try to overheat it. He backed up into flames there, it looks like. And he's in the barrage. Thank goodness he's using the rocket packs on the Holopolis. Ooh, took a heavy hit there. He's stripping the Holopolis' right armor, but... It's only going to be for another turn or so, and then it's going to be game over. Let's move. All right. Um, yes. Okay, nice. More inferno. More inferno. Yes. We'll put him over the cap. Beautiful. Got past the armor. He's probably got single heat heat sinks, like I said. So Commander? looks like that guy's not going to go anywhere. Not the best chance to hit. Let's go with some more incendiaries on this guy. Right, Commander. Critical Ooh, four hit, Commander. Kit, four crits against... Oh yeah, okay, it got destroyed, sorry. Ready for I was going to say four crits and it's still going? Oh, you might get a chance to use dead fire next turn. Maybe. Come on, kill him. Oh, he took something though. I think it was his left arm, really? Okay. Reporting. All right, I'm gonna go headshots on this guy. I think. Let's just try it. Why not? Affirmative. Head hit. Was a critical. I hit. think that was the X pulse that hit him in the head too. No, it wasn't. Pulse laser. Okay. Commander. Fair enough. Can we get a good line? There we go. Good line of sight on that guy. There we go. Taking the shot. thing I like about this mech and these MRMs with the approved ammo is that it always seems to have a, a superior chance to hit Enemy down. at medium ranges, which is why I love it so much. Receiving you. It's a, it's just constantly applying damage, you know. On my way. All right, last guy here. Rifleman v rifleman. Can't not go for headshots on this. Here it comes. 
we'll get what we get out of this thing. It's a garbage mech anyway. It's the one end. Hit something good. Aye, aye. Um. I sure. That's it for him. There you go. Target destroyed. Well, that was a long one, but definitely fun. Mission successful. So things that are working definitely the I think the uh, the AC twenty on the um, help the uh, bushwhacker is working, but the Hellbringer definitely needs to um, get some more heat sinking. We have a double heat sink kit in here, but it's not enough. We gotta we gotta figure out what to do with this guy. All right, let's see what we got coming up here. So uh, we can get an well we can't get an Apollo archer parts though. I think we do have archer. Ooh, wait, wow, quantity two. That's interesting. Gives you two to start, eh? All right, before we grab anything from here, we do have a full Talos still sitting in the bays. I can't remember if I... I think I may have sold it. I don't know. Right. Well, that's a no-brainer. Is this the one that's got... It's got increased range. 15% jam chance, though. Ah, ooh, two ATM nine, ATM nine pirates. Hmm, integrated laser AMS. That's a possibility. Possibility. Uh, what else do we have? Another medium X pulse. Sheath beacon. Clan endo steel, which we don't have. The bonus with this is that it just like it uses up less space. The regular endo steel, we got like, three of them, eh? Wow. All right, what do we got down here? Two light engines. Oh my god, that's a good stack. Fire control system AC minus one recoil. Kind of re support B. It's not very often we see that. That might be a good selection. Gyro XL prototype double heatsink kit. Yeah, this is the good one. This is the one that actually you don't have to turn on or off and it just generates less weapon heat. I'm going to throw that in. NSS too. Oof. Port ah, man. Well, I'm going to go this row because I don't know if we've got the, uh, if we have the Mark II in storage. Any parts. We can get prototype heat sinks in the future, but this can definitely go in here. We can build a, like, hopefully we can build a great laser build with this because look at the hard points. Eight laser hard points. Ah, tracker sensors. Turret mount. Oh man, there's so much good stuff here. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, flea part, thumpy McThumberson. Oh, but, oh wow, look at these th top three of crap. AMS Mark II, beautiful. We need that. We need that really, like, we really need that. Toronto laser can go. LRM 20 will hang on to. Sawed off thumper. Let's hold on to that for now. AC fire control system, beautiful. Solaris cage. Armored cowl adds 15 armor and structure to the head. This might be a possibility for the um, fire starter if it's going to be in close. Increased guts, increased injury resist, increased chance like defense for the head. Okay, AC 10 double ammo. We got two of these, or AC 10. Yeah, we got two of these already. Let's uh, ditch this and we'll hang on to the single one. LRM ammo can go. Artemis we're definitely going to keep. And the machine gun ammo can go. Alright, so that's not too bad overall. I think we made it okay on that. Actually, how many large lasers do we have? Five. We can probably sell that one. Alright, so let's quickly go to the mech bay before we leave here. I want to see what that vulture's got. Let's bring it forward. We do have some work to do on these guys. I think it's mostly just simple repairs. And just so you guys know, like the reason why I leave off pay for armor repair is it just slows. Like you got, you got to remember I've got like what one, two, three, four, five, and a couple of other behind the scenes playthroughs going on right now with these, and to spend all the time in repair, uh, to repair just armor and things like that, it's um, it's prohibitive, especially for dollars because then I have to play offline to get enough money every month for the financial report 
So it's a bit of a pain in the ass to have to do that. Now, do we have the part here? I don't think we had... We did have... We have a regular Mad Dog part. Man, I'm glad we didn't... Uh, yeah, I'm glad we didn't um, just take two parts for that. All right, let's put this together. I'd have been so disappointed. That mech you wanted, All right. Back online. Fingers crossed here. Let's just take a look at this thing. Now nah, we lost a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff gone off this. Wow. Wow. HVAC. What did this thing have? High velocity all cannon 2. So what did it have? AMS Mark II gunnery support, AR-12 sheet beacon, small cockpit, two hypervelocity autocannon twos, radical heatsink tit prototype pirate. Automatically active. The one we got is so much better though. The NSS was nice. Swarm, case two, hydra ammo. God, he didn't get a chance to use that too often. ATMs, the light, P light PPCs. Wow, this thing had a pretty darn good loadout. And this is built in. Radical double heatsink kit. So this is the one that's got a chance to fail on activation. 10% failure on a consecutive turn. Steals critical hit to fail self on failure. But the thing about this one is it's integrated into the mech, so it's not so bad. But yeah, I'm going to strip everything off this guy. I'm going to go ahead and max out the armor, because it is an Omni mech, right? We've got a 300 core already installed. Max out the armor. Uh, I'm going to strip a bit of back armor off this, though. More than just a bit, I guess. We'll go down to... Uh, let's do that, 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 and that. We'll do that. Turret mount in the center torso. With a plus three chance to hit. This thing is going to be brutal. Like, it's going to be contraband fire control system. It's got recoil. Like, it generates a lot of recoil. But if we go with lasers, we don't have to worry about it. Right? 10% heat generation. But if we put in... Man, I, this is like... A dream come true. If we put this in, we don't have to worry about that. We got this is going to be a killer mech for laser build. Holy moly! What are we looking at here? Yeah, we don't even have full heat sinking in here yet, do we? Yes, we do. I think this is generating this is generating incorrectly, I think. Cuz this is it for I can't remember now. Minus 4 heat per turn, right. So it's 40 is the heat cap plus whatever extra heat sink is so a 44, right? So that is correct. But this is like what? 56 and 36, so 80, 92 is reporting it as 63. Yeah, that's correct. So this is going to be a brutal like if we get a nice mix, like if we can get another clan ER PPC do we have clan uh, hands and stuff? Did I get rid of them? We got one lower arm. We got two. Oh, we can't use it? We can use it on this side. We, just, we can't use it with a PPC, though. Is that correct? Can't use it with the PPC? Yeah. So, I mean, we can decide what to do with this. Like, it doesn't have to be a PPC either, right? Like... Oh, yeah, I can't use it with that. The large... I think the large pulse laser is not the wrong thing. I'm just dropping things in just to see what can go in there right now. But, yeah, I mean... Staying away from, like, I mean, we got, <laughs> could you imagine? Like, 
our main cl I think our main pilot's got clustering bonus, but that doesn't help with MRMs. But still, like you could do like an MRM eighty build on this thing. That's a possibility. Or you know, like, God, there's so much potential with this thing. Right, we have to take this out. But still, it's like, and then, I mean, we need to drop ammo in, but how many heat sinks do we have for this? We've got eight prototype double heat sinks, so, I mean, just start dropping these guys in. Got an exchanger as well we could drop in to start getting rid of some of this heat, like 7659 already. You know, the heat bank will give us another, what, nine? Minus 5% heat generated. Oh, that's the exchanger, sorry. Uh, minus 6 heat per turn. It's already pretty flush. Um, and then ammo. How much MRM do we have? We don't have a lot of MRM ammo. 480 shots. So that's what? With a 40, that's 10, 12 turns of firing. Plus another five, so 17 turns of firing. We've been coming up against long missions, that's why I'm worried, like I always want to have a little extra ammo just in case. You saw that last mission, we were getting down to the last little bit there. Uh, and it's only going to get worse as we go up in, uh, up in uh, difficulty. You got regular clan armor so we can put heavy pharaoh in, get even more weight out of this thing if we wanted to. I don't think we need to though, the clan armor I think is probably better because it gives us case on both sides. Well, we would prefer to have case two. This laser insulator could go, apparently can't go there or there. Where can it go? Laser insulator. Must be installed in location with the laser. Yeah, that's got a laser. Oh, can't be used with Omnimac, really? Apparently it can't be used with an Omnimech. Okay. That's interesting. So that's the ammo in. Uh, definitely need a Guardian ECM. <laughs> Look at the price though. It's still like nothing. I can't do it right now, obviously, but... You know, energy range. No, we don't need range. Evasion ignore. We could just use this guy to target fast movers, but we're, they're just going to get slower and slower and slower. We could use it for missile accuracy or just a pirate fire control system. This one's pretty much already the same. One accuracy, one evasion pivot, one recoil. Pilot's going to negate that, though. The pilot will definitely... This is risk sensors, right? What does this give us? Extra sensor detection. One guts and two to tactics. Armored cowl. Wow, like I don't think we do anything there. Like, I mean, we could do this too. The RPPC and the CT, and then we could do... This thing's got so much possibilities. I mean, you guys kind of have a rough idea of what I've got here, but... Um, so if you have any suggestions, please let me know. We can put an AMS Mark II. Like, we got so much. This thing is, like, ridiculous. It's, like, honestly ridiculous. We've only got caseless AMS ammo, but... I'll have to keep a look in the store for some more. I mean, the other thing, too, is we could go... Because our main pilot... Okay, I'm going to leave this for now. We have options. We've got an amazing amount of options. This could be a really high energy build. Or it could be a really well balanced build. It's got so much space, so much like stuff that we could do with this. It's got an ultralight gyro though, so it's going to be unstable. But our main pilot, um, let's have a look at her again. Not the command center, barracks. Uh, where are you here? Taskmaster. So yeah, this gives us minus 10% heat generator, minus one recoil, minus 20% jam chance for two turns. So it's really made for AC 
our hot build, right? And this is precision. So yeah, non-missile build for sure. So we could go with a lot of precision weapons on that. Like just load it down with lasers. Maybe it's not the ERPPC, EPP, the ERPPC in the center torso. Maybe it's the large laser in the CT. And then we load down the other arms with like other lasers that we have. I don't know. I got to think about it. We have two clan ER lasers on the bushwhacker. We could pull the bushwhacker out of service, although I'm really liking the um, the AC build on this. But maybe it's the fire starter that comes out. Maybe we don't go with this scout ass mech, you know? We pull the X pulses out, put them into the, the Mad Cat. Because are we getting the benefit out of this? I mean, it's a good vehicle killer. We can shift the bushwhacker down to this roll. Pull the fire starter up, move the Mad Cat up here. Or Mad Dog, sorry. Because we have... This is basically a rocket and light laser build. So we can pull all the lasers off, put them all in here. Heat sink it, put a large in the CT. Maybe round it out with a couple of MRMs in the shoulders. You know, that might do it. So it becomes kind of like a, a good medium range brawler. Yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. Drop the comments in the comment section below, down below. We're not gonna have. I gotta do off some offline uh, playthroughs and sell some stuff and that to get our financial report for this month. Because I think we're just a few days away, aren't we? Twenty three days, so we got some time. So I may have to pull a couple of back uh, background missions to get some C bills, some low level ones. Because we're on a, what? I, I think we're on a all gate. We're on like a two and a half skull planet, I think, or a two skull planet. Can't remember. Might, wait, this one might be three. Let me just have a quick look in the navigation thing. If you're wondering where I'm playing these missions, uh, most of, uh, well, my two main playthroughs, the Night Gaunts and the Dragon's Rejects, are up here in uh, Karita space. And the reason why I'm up here is because within a short jump distance of each other, so we've got Tarnby, which is like half skull planet. We've got one and a half uh, Graven Henge right here, but we've got, where is it here? One skull, so we got right here, half skull, one skull, two skull planet, Earth-like, then in here, where is it, right here where we're at? Yeah, three skull, this is another three skull, this one here is two and a half skull, uh, but it's a mega city which we're going to be using later on. Um, we got a lunar world, this planet right here is a three and a half skull pl uh, planet, but it's all mud flats, so it's still a good planet to, to play on. And there's, I mean, there's a couple of others, there's a four skull planet right here. Um, like it's an Arctic world, but um, there's a bunch of like uh, planets that are in a very close range of each other that I can bounce back and forth between. So if I need to go and do like I can play here and I can play here, but if I need to go and do like like lower land milk runs to grab stuff, I can go to a two skull or a one skull planet. Just jump over there, quickly put, do a bunch of missions, make some money, and then come back and get the missions that I need to continue on. So that's what I've been doing with these two playthroughs. The other ones, the urban mechs and stuff. I think the vehicles are up there too, but the urban mechs down in here. The urbies are down in this area here. But yeah, so um, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, drop a like, and please drop any comments in the comment section down below. I love comments. I may not respond right away, or if I miss your comment, I apologize. I always try to drop a like and a heart on your, your comments when I read them. So if I miss it, I apologize. Just comment again on the same comment if you want to make sure I read it. That way it'll pop up again and I'll be able to see that I've missed it. Um, but yeah, please drop them in down the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.